Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Today to do readings for all the zodiac signs for the month of October. This reading is going to be for Aries. I want to thank everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. That way you get all the notifications for all the new stuff that I put out there. If you are returning, then thank you for sticking it out with me. Uh, let's see. Aries. What are we got going on for you in the month of October? Wow. Aries, first card you have is the Empress there. Usually depicted as Libra Taurus energy there. Wow. Get the Thief card. Seven of Swords. Aries, month of October. Hmm. You get the three of Pentacles here. Being recognized for your skills, your qualities, your crafts. You have a negative fire sign. Aries, if this is not you around you. Hmm. Aries in October. Hmm. You get the three of cups in reverse here, Aries. No reuniting. Bottom of the deck, though. Wow, how strange. You get the ten of pentacles here. So, Aries, it seems to me that maybe somebody maybe doesn't deserve a certain energy, maybe in your field. Because you get the empress here. You know, here's the queen. Of all queens here. Known for her kindness. Known for her support. Her ride or die. But you don't ever take advantage of the Empress. Her kindness for a weakness. She will definitely show you what's up there. Aries. And now with the thief around. And I'm using the uh, witch's tarot. In case you're wondering. But just that smug look on his face. Like yeah I'm getting away with it. No one's going to stop me. Now, Aries, there's a lot of ways to depict a thief. Yes, they steal material things. They can steal your heart. They can also steal your work and put their name on it. But they definitely think they're getting away with something. And maybe they're trying to take the shine off you and try to put it on them. Now, this could be the energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you, Aries. Friendship, partnership, love ship, you know, career, family, however it applies. You know, because somebody here is getting recognition, you know, for your craft, for your skill, for that great person that you are. If somebody wants to take that away, whoops, I guess I dropped the card. Whoops, hold on. Doesn't want to stick around. But that's, you know, they're known for ghosting people too. They come in, they do the damage. They leave like it wasn't them. Or by the time you figure it out, it is them. You know, they're long gone. Ugh, tough energy, Aries. But, you know, this is what bothers me, I think, the most. Aries is the King of Wands in reverse. As well as Leo, as well as Sagittarius, in the upright, your movers, your shakers, your motivated, your passionate, your creative, you're going to get it done. This is, you know, could be pride or ego or arrogance in the way. And it could be somebody says, Yeah, I'll do it, yeah, I'll do it, but never puts any action behind their words. You know, hopefully it's not you, Aries, that it's someone around you. You know, yeah. They're going to do this, they're going to do that, but they do the total opposite thing. And, you know, and there's no reuniting with this person. Of course not, Aries. Of course not. You know, because if this person thinks that you have it all, you're Kwong. That's what they're going after. Because if they're seeing you as this, you do have it all. So, let's do some clarifying here. Starting off with the Seven of Swords for Aries. The shenanigans. Mm. Could be a female. Trying to block you. Block your recognition. Block your success. Block any type of attention going to you. Trying to divert it. 
Seven of Swords for Aries. 